we have Congressman Brian Bilbray on the phone with us. He's in Washington, D.C. to take in some of the September 11th tributes. Good morning, Congressman. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Honor to be with you. We know that you're um, sitting in your car right now, um, sitting in a bit of traffic on uh, the way to work this morning. Is Washington, D.C. A, a busier place than usual this morning? Yeah, it seems like everybody's stopping. Um, we just passed the time of um, the uh, first plane crashing in, and uh, a moment of silence was recognized, and literally the traffic stopped dead in its tracks, and uh, there's a whole lot of uh, more congestion than normal, so I apologize. But, no, it this really brings back memories. I was actually um, about a block, a little over a block from the White House, and meeting with the um, the immigration commissioner at that time, and uh, I remember our meeting was interrupted. Uh, they turned on the television. We watched, and uh, that perce the, the the perception was that it was a terrible accident. And the reporter who was reporting it actually changed the phrase, and you probably relate to this. Changed the phrase from "Oh, this is you know this has been a terrible accident" to when the second plane hit mid-sentence turned right around and said, this is no accident. This, uh, our country is being attacked. And um, it was a, a sort of uh, interesting that the commissioner turned to me and said, Congressman, can you imagine being the agents who let these people into the country? Uh, and we didn't know it was foreign nationals at the time. We had had problems with domestic. But he literally hit it on the head that these were not only people who had been allowed in the country, they were allowed to stay here illegally and actually took flight lessons in San Diego. So it really all comes to home when you think about that example. And the, 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 the sound of the jets over the Capitol were just extraordinary. Congressman, uh, yesterday in our planning meeting, we got into a discussion about our coverage of 9-11 and how big and important this day is as opposed to uh, our comparison to any other day that we celebrate. Is there anything ab about in Washington to make this officially a bigger day, or is it, do you think, going to continue as is? Uh, not that, it, you know, no one has really um, identified that. I think in all fairness, it's not until... We have finally feel comfortable that we're we're past the threat. And if you would have told us um, that that ten years could have passed without a major attack, I think any reasonable person would be crazy. Um, so we we've, we've got to count our blessings, but also recognize that the threat is still very much there. And maybe watch out the fact that one thing that we did um, show is that our own bureaucratic. Uh, regulations or the the barriers to um, information sharing and things like that was one of the ways these people were able to um, stay in the shadows, uh, live amongst us, and actually train in the United States to kill Americans. And I think the biggest uh, concern we have is to make sure that everybody, no matter what your party affiliation, especially those of us in Washington, remember, we're all in this together and we've got to find reasons to be successful rather than always finding excuses for failure. And on that note, do you think that we are as a country safer than we were 11 years ago? I'm sorry? Do you think that we were safer than we were 11 years ago? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, I, I think that, first of all, is uh, Al-Qaeda and uh, the, the whole uh, networks have been severely degraded. Uh, they're sort of needing to uh, reinvent themselves just because the heads have been cut off so often. Um, and the fact that I think that we're much more sophisticated about the fact that it doesn't take a lot of sophistication to do a lot of damage. Um, and so I, thankfully it looks like 9-11 was only allowed to get um, through once because we're a nation that really prized life, cherished life, and that when the terrorists take people hostage, we always try to find a peaceful alternative to it. And they use that, that, that value of life as a weapon against us. Um, and the, the fact is none of those jets um, um, would have hit the tower or the Pentagon if we were the type of people that would either shoot down a jet or just force a jet down, regardless of um, uh, the, lo the loss of lives. So. I think that we've we've gained um, in technology, but I think we've gained more in a mental state of understanding there are people that would use our goodness against us, and we've got to guard that we don't do that. 
Congressman Bill Bray, always a pleasure to talk to you. We hope your rush hour doesn't go on too much longer this morning for you. Well, it's, uh, if it's in re remembrance of 9-11, uh, then I think we, we all uh, appreciate the fact that there's, there's a good reason for it. So Certainly. thank all you right. very much, and God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you, you so too. much.